Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. Today I'm showing you how to install Sophos um, UTM. Uh, I'll be showing you on VirtualBox, but uh, if you're using uh, real hardware, you can follow along. Okay, so um, uh, here I've just inserted my image. And as I said before, if you're using real hardware, all of these steps will be applicable to you. Okay, so um, we'll hit enter to start the installation. So we'll get an introduction saying that this is the CD and this is what's on it. So hit start. It'll detect what hardware we have installed. Okay, so hit OK. Okay, so I'm in, I speak English and I'm in Canada, Eastern time zone. Hit next. Now this is where you'll select which NIC you want um, for your uh, LAN. <clears throat> um, now, uh, if you don't know, for instance, what NIC is what, let's say you have two of the same network adapters and they show up like this, what you can do is Alt F2 and type in IF config and uh, you can find the MAC addresses of each. That would help you out there. That's a quick tip. And then to get out of that menu, Alt F1. Okay, so I'll make ETH1 my quote unquote LAN NIC. Now, this is when you hit, uh, sorry, this is when you select your LAN uh, gateway address. So the Sophos will act like a router uh, and stuff like that. So you'll want to select, you know, 192, say 1.0. 254 or 1.1 .1. okay so uh, you can leave the gateway out the, as that's optional hit next do you want to enable 64-bit say yes and yes we want to install all capabilities and yes uh, we're okay um, to format the hard drive okay and you're going to say yes to format the hard drive because you're installing on dedicated equipment. Um, so, uh, Sophos, it automatically assumes that you are using dedicated hardware or a virtualized, uh, like a VM environment for uh, this UTM. So, um, I'll just make it do its thing and once it's installed, I'll, uh, get, I'll unpause the video. Okay, so now the installation's done. Um, just so you know, I had to make an adjustment actually. Uh, when I told you 192.168.1.254, that's your network. I already have that 192.168.1.254, and I went ahead with the setup, and I realized, well, that's going to take down my network. So I went back and made the change. So um, it's 192.168.1.105, but for you, it's 1.1 1 .1 or 1.254 however else you want so hit reboot and um, now if you're using real hardware actually once this is re once this uh, boots up and it gets to the point where it's ready um, the system speaker will make a noise uh, it usually is like a couple beeps or something like that kind of a nice feature Okay, so we're ready to go. So you go to, for me, it's HTTPS. 192.168.1.105 port 4444 okay you'll get a certificate error which is no surprise so just add um, add an exception okay so uh, it'll ask you for a host name so Mancini Lab 
Company, Mancini, Toronto, Canada, and now I'll ask you for a password. So just put in a password, and then I'll ask for an email account. Okay, this should be real, um, just so you can get security reports from your firewall and alerts and stuff. I'm just putting anything because I don't need it. And then hit perform basic setup. Okay, now you get this please wait. It'll take 40 seconds for install. Or I guess uh, for the, the basic uh, setup, setup to complete. Okay, so now it's done. Log in with your admin and uh, the password that you created. Okay, so now it asks, are you restoring from a backup or not? So we're not, so hit continue. Now, um, when you signed up for Sophos, they would have emailed you <coughs> a license. So uh, it'll be like a text file, which you just upload here at this point. And um, if you don't have it, then um, you should go register uh, or else you only have a 30 day license. So I'm just going to assume uh, that you don't and hit next. Now it'll ask you uh, what you want your land to be. So <clears throat> um, remember right now I'm using 105 because I'm using this on my test network. But um, you know, at this point your, your internal firewall would be 1.254 and you know, whatever subnet mask you want. Okay. I'll make sure to keep that at 1.255. I'm not enabling DHCP, but if you will, if you do want it, just hit that check mark to enable DHCP. Hit next. And now it's going to ask you to choose your uplink. So ET0, standard Ethernet interface, and is it dynamic or static? Okay. Okay, and if you're using PPPoE, if you're using DSL, you got this as well. Hit next. Okay, now it's going to ask what types of traffic do you want to allow through the firewall from LAN outside. So we want to allow web traffic, uh, FTP, and uh, DNS. Of course, you'll kind of want the DNS, uh, you know, because it's kind of hard to use the internet without DNS. So select that, and uh, if this is up to you, if you want to allow pings, uh, if you want to allow um, the firewall to respond to pings or not, hit next. Okay, we want to enable the intrusion prevention and command and control detection. Hit next. Okay, yeah, we want to scan the websites for viruses, and then this is where you can choose what you want to block. So do you want to block nudity if you have children, uh, you know, if you want to uh, block drugs and stuff like that, you can hit next. Uh, if you use pop mail, uh, then you would enable, you know, pop scanning and stuff like that. If not, then leave it off. There's no need for it. And then here's a summary of everything. Hit finish. And that's the installation. So um, my next video will be about uh, some configuration that you'll do after your initial setup. And um, once uh, and uh, after that, uh, some some settings and uh, and what what they are and how they improve your uh, security.
If you have any questions or comments about this video or any other one of my videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, or you can visit my website, shawmancini.com. Thank you.